It's a red-tailed hawk. Can you see it? I caught it there. Red-tailed hawk. Circling around the sun there. I got up at the top of the mountain, almost the very top, and there was a crossroads of paths, and I started hearing some really dire voices about a mountain lion up there on the very top of the rise. And the mountain lion was sleeping up there, and there had been a person who was caught uh, sleeping by a mountain lion and killed on the other side of the ridge line where I was uh, not too long ago, according to these voices, which urged me to go back. But I decided to go on a little anyway, and as I started to go on, there was another rise, and then I heard voices that said there were a pack of mountain lions up that way, a lot of lions, and I should go back now. And, and this voice was seconded by other voices. Very reluctantly, I turned back. And as I turned back, two male ravens were soaring high on the, on the thermals and came along. Raven, raven. Wow, look at you. Wow. Their intention was to urge me to go back quickly as possible, it said. Don't run, walk fast, go back fast. And then I got down to a, a, a more level descent, and they said, bad being down there, I'm going, because this has come up before. Big being, not so big being. And they say, not so big, but not so nice, and that's not good, you know? So I'm, I'm asking, badger? No, more like a ferret. More like a ferret. What is it like, I say? They say, it's slithers. I'm going, snake? And they say, yes, snake. And Okay. So, so they advised me to walk along swiftly. Don't tarry in that section and go on back. So here we have two guide ravens, male ravens, that came to see me back home. Uh, apparently the raven tribe was upset. They said there have been lots of deaths from mountain lions uh, on this ridge and elsewhere in the state this year. And that the, there was one story there, confusing stories, one story that the mountain lions had been deported, other stories that they weren't from here and they weren't trackable. There was just a lot of commotion about mountain lions, more so than any other time that I can think of. And I have to correlate it to the big rain last year. I think there must have been a bumper crop of mountain lion cubs. So and whether or not this is true, I still think right now it's good for all of you to keep a close watch uh, for mountain lions in the Santa Monica Mountains and also to, to go out in pairs. If you happen to be hiking alone as I was today, I suggest um, pay attention to what the ravens tell you. They're here to be your friends, you know. And along those lines, I have another story. I was just coming down the mountain and getting closer to the campground. There's a big campground down below it. And I heard a little girl cry out from the middle of the back of the campground. She cried out, help! And then a mother raven said, call mom. Or call mother, I forget which. And she said it in that voice. It's very clear and very commanding even for a mother raven. And the little girl immediately said, Mom, help! And after a while, the mother found her, caught in a restroom, and went to get the ranger to get help. So here's just another example of, of raven-human cooperation. It's the ravens that have taken the, the initiative to help the humans. Isn't that cool? This is at Leo Carrillo State Park and campground. This particular uh, rise that I'm on is Nicholas Flats Trail. Yeah. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I'm of the stars and so are you. Come and visit me at Awakening with Planet Earth. HTTPS colon slash slash Awakening with Planet Earth dot com
What did you see? Anybody? <laughs>